Welcome to Apocalypse Ready, your guide to surviving anything life throws your way. An Introduction to Map Reading, Contour Lines In the world of wilderness navigation, maps are your best friend. They provide a bird's eye view of the terrain, helping you to plan your route and anticipate challenges. Let's focus on understanding contour lines to visualize the land's shape. By learning to read these lines, you gain an in-depth understanding of the terrain, allowing you to avoid potential obstacles. The contour interval is the difference in elevation between adjacent contour lines. It is typically indicated in the map's legend or margin. For instance, a contour interval of 40 feet means that each contour line represents an increase or decrease in elevation of 40 feet. Contour lines are always continuous and never intersect. They form closed loops around hills and valleys, and their spacing indicates the steepness of the terrain. Closer together, contour lines represent steeper slopes, while wider space contour lines represent gentler slopes. The elevation of any point on a map can be determined by locating the nearest contour line and referring to its elevation value. Contour lines are typically labeled with their elevation values at regular intervals. By analyzing the pattern and spacing of contour lines, you can visualize the shape and form of the terrain. Concentric circles of contour lines indicate a hilltop. U-shaped contour lines opening uphill indicate a valley. V-shaped contour lines pointing downhill indicate a ridge. The spacing of contour lines provides an indication of the slope of the terrain. Closer together contour lines indicate a steeper slope while wider space contour lines indicate a gentler slope. You can estimate the approximate slope by measuring the distance between contour lines using the map scale. Contour lines can be used to plan hiking routes and avoid difficult terrain. By understanding the elevation changes represented by contour lines, you can choose paths that are consistent with your fitness level and avoid excessively steep or dangerous areas. As you can see in this comparison, on the left is a topographical map and the right is a satellite image of the same area. A satellite map alone is difficult to make out the terrain features such as elevation, but with a topographical map one can clearly see the elevation and how steep and difficult some areas may be. We hope this video serves as a helpful guide, equipping you with the essential techniques of wilderness navigation. Remember, the journey is as important as the destination. And finally, regardless of where your wilderness adventures take you, always respect nature. Leave no trace behind and keep the wilderness wild for future generations. So, are you ready to navigate the wilderness? Your journey begins here. This video is intended to provide a general overview and introduction to contour lines and their use in map reading. It is not intended to be a comprehensive guide to cartography or navigation. For more detailed information, please consult a professional. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe.